In this video, we will introduce you to the new V-Ray Lens Effect feature in V-Ray for Rhino. With the V-Ray Lens Effect, you can now achieve bloom and glare effects in your renderings. First, let's have a look at a rendering without using the new lens effect. This image looks pretty good, but there are a couple simple but important lighting effects that are missing. In the V-Ray options, let's simply enable the bloom and glare effects. We will change the glare size to zero for now, so that we focus on the bloom effect. As you can see, we now have a bloom effect in our image. Let's take a quick look at two of the bloom parameters, bloom size and weight. You can control the amount of bloom with the bloom size parameter. Larger values increases the bloom effect, and smaller values reduce the effect. After changing the bloom size, you can see how the bloom effect is larger. In some cases, you may want to refine your bloom effect. You can do this by adjusting the weight parameter. Now, let's change bloom size to zero, so that we can focus on the glare effect. You can control the amount of glare with the glare size parameter. Larger values increase the glare effect, and smaller values reduce the effect. Now you can see our glare effect. Let's take a look at two more important lens effects parameters. Camera num sides and glare diffraction. Notice that the glare effect has six rays of light. The number of rays is controlled by the num sides parameter. By reducing the num sides parameter to a value of 4, you will limit the rays of light to 4 rays, as you can see here. Another very realistic effect is to see the diffraction of light in the glare. Let's enable the glare diffraction option. Now the diffraction of light rays is visible in the rendering. As you can see, the new V-Ray lens effect is very easy to set up and can produce amazing and very realistic lighting effects in your images. We hope you enjoyed this powerful new feature of V-Ray for Rhino.